Kara decided she needed some M&Ms to start off the morning. After waking up at 8 o'clock this morning, we are ready to start the day. Kara <laughs> got her M&Ms. So now we can go to Sintra. It is a small town about an hour outside of Lisbon via public transportation. It's supposed to be cool, have some castles and stuff. What is there to see in Sintra? Good morning. What is there to see in Sintra? Castles, natural parks. I don't know. <laughs> natural parks. You've been there. Well, You're I supposed to be the expert. You've been there? But I, but I went with a tour guide. I just went wherever he took me. Alright, Kayla's our tour guide today, so maybe we're in trouble. card. I hear our train pulling up. This is our train. The boys still aren't up here so Kayla's going to find them. Quickly! <laughs> Just in time. We made it. Everybody look cool. I can't believe that. Look cool. <laughs> so We're going somewhere. job of narrating these vlogs when we're with other people. We just arrived in Sintra. There are a ton of different buildings here that you can pay to go into like castles and monuments and different stuff like that. We picked one which is this house that was built by this really rich dude that's supposed to be like kind of weird and spooky. What's the number one thing on TripAdvisor? It's like a 30 minute walk outside the city so that's where we're heading now. The man obviously knew we were talking about getting popcorn. He just came up. No, we better walk away. He's gonna try and give us another one. Run, run. <laughs> <laughs> this could be a rare day. There's a long line to pay to get into something, and we might do it. We're still discussing. Yeah. That's a great idea. All right, we did it. We waited in the line. We paid the entrance fee. This could determine if we ever wait in the line to pay an entrance fee to do something to see again. So hopefully it goes well. It's number one on TripAdvisor, so it should be pretty good. What are we going to see? Quinta de Reglera. It's a large so place. So we are... I have no idea. Whoa, what is that? That's the, uh, That's the well. What is this? Initiatic Underground tunnels well. and a well? I think you can get to the well. A subterranean tower that sinks some 27 meters into the earth, made accessible by a monumental spiral stairway. We are going up a lot of stairs into the wilderness and no idea where they're taking us. We should go this way. What tells you that? Are you My saying that? My directional sense. That way <laughs> I have a sixth sense. Of direction, that's... I think it goes this way. Because <laughs> I feel like we came up that trail and went this way. We did, so that would take us back the way we came from. I know, we're trying to go to the well. <laughs> Let's try it. I'm good with it. We'll just walk till we run into something that we can identify on the map. What is it? This is the Virgin Grotto. What does that mean? Are you sure? <laughs> I thought a grotto was like a castle. And I thought a virgin was like <laughs> We are at the very top of a massive well. I don't even know how they made this. It's crazy and there's stairs that go all the way down. 
How many people do you think we can fit down here in the well? I'm thinking 30. Now we're going to explore the underground. I love that there are literally no lights. Like if you did bring a flashlight, I'm not sure what you did. Here's what it looks like without my flashlight. <laughs> okay. That's really sad. This reminds me of the cave in the Philippines. And so we were in water up to our chest. Was it worth six euro? Certainly. Yes. yes. Caves. Kara? Big house. Yeah, it was good. Will we do another one? Uh, <laughs> it was I'll good for that one time. Deal. It was good though. Good for that one time. The caves were super cool. The house was amazing. I can't believe somebody actually lived there. Yeah, we all we lasted about two hours because it's currently 3.15 and we haven't had lunch. I think we saw 50%. We've started a trend of eating lunch around 3 p.m. when we're all starving. So we're stopping at one of the first places we've seen because it's cheap and it looks delicious. That's what I want. Oh my gosh, it smells like chicken noodle. What'd you get? Delicious. That's got to be at least four eggs. Kara, mine was slightly more filling than yours. Apparently this is a local thing. Eggs, steak, rice, french fries. But the men got the manly meals. The best meal in Portugal. This is the best meal so far. <laughs> steak, eggs, rice, fries. I had a Coke. Woo! It's good. Kara, okay, how's that healthy salad? It's good. TripAdvisor had meh reviews, but we give it a thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Ooh. Thoughts on Sintra? It's a cute little town with pretty castles. Worth the day trip. And good steak and eggs. Longer. If you're like really into the castle thing, you can stay a long time. Y'all have any thoughts? Sims thoughts. It's about, it's about it. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> what do you think? We're heading back for gelato. That's the most important thing. That's what we're excited about. Yeah. We've pretty much been looking forward to that all day. Thankfully, our travel styles work out perfectly. Kayla and Barrett enjoy walking around, eating. I'm not of, walking, though. Just <laughs> we're going back to Lisbon. That was the point of that whole thing. <laughs> Apparently other people saw the vlog yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone here tonight. You just can't appreciate the sheer scale unless you hold it up next to your head. I switched up my flavor today. I got a chocolate Oreo with the chocolate hazelnut. So good. It's a good thing we're leaving here tomorrow. 
We might die otherwise. It's so good. It's also a good thing that our place is a 25 minute walk uphill from here so we can work off some of our ice cream. Yeah. Plan is to head back, rest for a couple hours, and then head back out tonight to explore the Barrio Alto neighborhood. That was the plan last night as well, and then everybody fell asleep at like 8 p.m. <laughs> No, it was a food coma. <laughs> Kayla says ice cream coma from the ice cream cones, which may be true. Good news, we didn't fall into an ice cream coma. We're going to Barrio Alto, but we decided not no, to No, we the didn't! Ha <laughs> 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 The bloopers! <laughs> That's not the third filming of this scene. <laughs> Today's vlog ends here. That was an early start to the bloopers. <laughs> is a grotto a hole? I think a grotto is a hole. I think this is the virgin hole. <laughs> I didn't I didn't realize how bad that was until it came out. This says a grotto is a small picturesque cave, especially an artificial one in a park or garden. A cave is really close to a hole. <laughs> a fake cave. You really act like you're doing it. <laughs> nuzzled it. Oh. Did you just notice you spilled your ice cream or did you get pooped on? I I hope, it with a spoon. I hope it was ice cream. Yeah. Uh, I got some ice cream on that. Yeah.